gems, it's Crystal O and today I'm going to be doing a story time about how God told me not to go to med school. And I know you're probably just like, oh my gosh, like, God, why would you do that? Because med school is where it's at, like support black doctors, like all that stuff, like yes, yes yes black doctors and white coats i support it um and i know god does but my story is unique and hopefully this video will encourage you to listen for god and to trust god and to take those next steps in obedience and in faith to do what he's calling you to because the reward is worth it so let's go ahead and get into this video but before we do a large majority of you watch my videos but are not subscribed so take a moment to just quickly subscribe it's free i promise i don't spam and i mean i think i i like it here i like it here so maybe you will too anywho uh like this video if you enjoyed it comment below if it resonated with you and let's go ahead and get started so the summer of my sophomore year of college i gave my life to jesus i got saved i had this awakening to god and the trinity and just understanding what relationship with jesus actually looked like and actually what it is so from that point i was pretty much having my whole life rocked like i don't know if you've had this experience where like when you give your life to christ like everything else around you just starts to fall apart that's kind of how it felt so uh yes i had internal peace yes i had jesus yes i had you know just comfort and peace and all those things in him but literally friendships was falling apart career was falling apart life was like oh my god are we Hey, are you sure that I'm saved? Because this is too much. But nonetheless, um, my junior year, I started the semester off with studying, 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 and just like really focused. So I started college as a pre-med major. I majored in biology and I minored in uh, chemistry. So literally have worked these courses up until my junior year. I have one more year until I, well not one more, but you know, after the junior year I'd have one more. And I was ready to graduate and become a doctor, okay? Like, <laughs> put some respect on my name, a doctor. Mm -hmm. Anywho, that was the plan, right? Um, but God. So after stepping into my junior year, of course, I'm studying hard. At this point, I'm safe, so I'm not going out every night. I'm I'm focused, you know what I mean? I'm I'm tunnel vision here, okay? So I'm studying hard, I'm doing all these things that I need to do. I'm literally doing what I need to do to pass. And y'all, I was failing like I didn't even go to class. Like I was failing as if I didn't attend class. And it was really weird to me because when I was out every night, when I was turning up and just like not doing my homework or not really paying attention in class, I was passing with flying colors. So I was like, okay, that doesn't make sense. Like, what's going on? So knowing myself, knowing me, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna go harder. And I kept trying and I kept failing. Um, so literally, I don't know if you guys know, but when you are a pre-med major, C's really don't cut it, especially if you want to go to med school. Um, and I think that one of my courses, I got a C and I'd have to retake it to make, you know, a B or a B or higher to, for it to look better on my transcript. So, um, literally as I was just thinking through like, Lord, like, why are you allowing this to happen? Like, what are you, like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, like, what are you doing? Um, I, I truly feel like God gets my attention by disrupting things that I put so much value in and focus on. And that is what he did. God came in and disrupted this part of my life that I have been thriving in, that I have been working on, that I've been successful in for the most part. And now I'm like, okay, you have my attention. Let's talk. Like, let's, let's, let's talk this out. And from that point, God was like, I want you to go in a different direction. I want you to go in the direction of becoming maybe a therapist or going into psychology and when i started hearing that i'm like oh jay first of all god what like i'm not sure i'm hearing you am i hearing you correctly because this is this is different you know this is not the script this is not the script that we planned god or i planned so i'm sitting here being bamboozled by this information and this uh, news of me changing career paths and majors. And I just start to think inwardly like, oh, like, 
what, like, why would God ask me to do this? And I actually started asking people around me that were close to me, like, could you see me as a therapist? Or do I have these traits or this and that? And they would all say like, yeah, like you have always been a really well listener. You've always wanted to like give counsel and, you know, just kind of help people through tough situations. So I was like, yeah, that is true. And then the last nail on the coffin for me was that in college, before I got saved, I was in a very, very dark place. Uh, was probably struggling with some depression at that point. Um, was having like passive, I don't wanna be alive, kind of thoughts like that. And um, I was smiling, you know, I was like, hi! No one would have known that I was going through that hardship. No one would have known that I was going through so much internal turmoil. And that's what a lot of us do daily. A lot of us walk around in the world smiling, laughing, but inwardly we're suffering and we're struggling. And because Christ was the hope for me in that dark place, I then wanted and had gained a passion to be that hope for others in their dark place. And that is what really hit the nail on the coffin for my dreams of going to med school because it was like, I don't want to help people with external things. I want to help people with internal soul, mental, emotional, and just things that are going to impact them on the inside. So to me, that's where I wanted to dwell and invest in. And that is why I switched my major to psychology and then my minor to communication studies because I'll be talking, y'all. I'll be talking. So I said, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> but anyways, um, I did that. And of course, it wasn't like easy to do because of, oh, you know, if you know anything about the college grade levels, uh, junior year is quite late to be changing your major drastically like that. So I did have to do summer school, mini semesters, uh, just make up all those credits that I needed to graduate with a degree in psychology. And I was bent on graduating on time, like graduating when I was supposed to. And I ended up doing that by the grace of God. And I just feel like, you know, this video is for anyone out there that's kind of questioning if it's worth it to trust God or if it's worth it to uh, follow where God might be leading you or to just be faithful and to be obedient to God's plans for your life. I just wanted to say yes, yes, and yes, because after I graduated with my, uh, my bachelor's degree, um, in psychology, I took like a six month, you know, break to just work and whatever else. And I was like, Oh no, this job is for the birds. And if you know anything about this field in psychology and therapy, your master's level is probably where you're going to be able to get to do the most work that you would actually want to do. And also just pays a little bit more. Oh, talk about pay. Let's backtrack. So another part of me and God's battle with me actually following what he was saying in the moment was I was like, God, um, do the therapy pay? Cause last I heard, uh, or last my mama, and you know, said, I just, I want to clarify, does that pay or like, will I be out here balling out of control, Lord? And I was just asking God, like, Lord, like, will it will it suffice will it provide for me will it be enough like i was generally concerned about this you know reasonably so or rightfully so and god was like listen if i'm leading you to this i am going to provide for you and that's actually what has happened from then until now um graduated with my you know bachelor's degree got this job realized no i need to get a master's degree which i already was going to get i just needed a little you know something to fill the time and make some income got my master's degree in clinical social work and then went from there to get my license to practice and then from there continuing to get my next clinical license and then from there starting my own business as an entrepreneur with my living on purpose brand and my merch and my t-shirts and sweatshirts by the way make sure to shop i will link it in my description bar for you to check out and also my e-course that i recently launched called tending to your mental health that has just been a huge blessing in integrating mental health and faith and combining that for the believer. So it's literally been just this journey of, of God just providing and providing and showing up. 
and now just getting to also work as a paid content creator like y'all like it's so crazy because y'all know I was out here in college creating content just to create content like there was no money behind it but now it's like there's money in it and I'm being blessed by just creating content. So it's amazing how my income has, has multiplied over the years, how streams of income have developed over the years. And I can't say that this all would have been the same if I took the route of becoming a doctor. It could have been, but I don't know if it would have. And there are literally no regrets in me choosing to follow Jesus, choosing to follow his plan for my life because it's just like, wow, like you've brought me this far. And there are going to be times in your journey where you feel like, oh my gosh, like there's this door in front of me. Like this is, you know, this end, end place or this, you know, dead end that you feel like, what was the point of bringing me here? God, like this doesn't make sense, but like y'all trust that there is more trust that he's going to keep leading you and keep you know, bringing you to different milestones that are going to remind you that truly he is behind all of it. So that's just kind of my story time. I just want Jesus to encourage someone on here. Um, I had posted a, a picture today on my Instagram that kind of uh, correlates to this video. So if you want to check that out and show love there and follow on Instagram, you are more than welcome to do that. Um, but yeah, this video hopefully is helpful for you. Hopefully it's encouraging for you. Uh, comment below if this resonates with you in your life and I would just love to hear from you. Um, so I will chat with you next time and thank you all for watching. Bye. I do want to add that I am Nigerian American and making my parents proud was very, very near to my heart when pursuing medicine. Um, when I did tell my mom, she was a bit disappointed, um, but ended up eventually seeing that the path that I was taking was the one for me. Um, my father was a uh, supportive, um, didn't really have any issues with my change of major. Um, but yeah, just for anyone who might be coming from a household where they don't want to let their parents down, I uh, just wanted to encourage you that I went through that hurdle and my parents are literally one of my biggest supporters to this day about just kind of what I do as a mental health advocate and a provider. And my mother, of course, you know, my daughter went to Belo, Belo. So uh, take that leap of faith and you never know where it's going to land you.